Welcome back to part two of how to create a ticket bot in Discord.py or Nextcord or whatever. So let's get straight into it. So we're gonna start off by doing MSG over here and creating this into a variable. And then we're gonna create a dictionary operates. And inside here, we're gonna do interaction dot build that default role and that's going to be equal to this next code dot permission overwrite <laughs> read message is fault and then what i'm going to do is <laughs> is uh next code dot on me and set this to true and then we're going to do this one more time this time we're going to grab a role and inside the grab role, we're gonna pass in a role ID. Now we're gonna hook this up to a database soon in one of the upcoming videos. So don't worry about that, but this is just temporary. And then we could set this to true. Okay. So now we're gonna create another variable, which is gonna be channel. And that's gonna be equal to await interaction .create next channel. So create underscore text channel and so inside here we're gonna first name the ticket which is gonna be the whoever's name it is and it's gonna be dash ticket and then inside here along with that we're gonna pass in overwrites just so the permissions are actually correct and then we can edit this little message here by doing await msg.edit and we're going to edit it to channel created successfully and then we're going to mention the channel so they can actually go to it now lastly what we're going to do is we're going to create another embed which is going to be equal to embed, and here it's going to be the embed that shows up inside of our ticket, which is going to be get created. And then we can do description. And here's a pre uh, description already laid out for us. So dot 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 created ticket. And then here, click one of the buttons below to change the setting. Okay, now we're gonna do is await channel dot send and we're gonna do embed equals embed and we're gonna create another view which is gonna be called ticket settings. Now that we have that created, then we can actually create the another view class or so we're literally just gonna copy this code up above up above like so and paste it down here it's going to be called ticket settings and we're just going to copy a lot of this okay now that we have that we're going to call this close ticket so if somebody wants to close ticket they can just click this We're gonna also hook this up to the custom ID, which is gonna be ticket underscore settings equals red. Okay, now your code should look something like mine. I hope. <laughs> and we're gonna do wait interaction dot response dot send message ticket is being closed. And then this is just gonna be inferior. Okay, now we can do await interaction 
Delete. Okay, and then we're gonna do an away interaction dot user dot send and we're gonna send them the confirmation. Ticket closed successfully. And that's pretty much it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into Discord and we're actually gonna test this out. Okay, here I am in my Discord, and you can see that Drome is online. So if I were to do help, you can actually see. So I'm going to do setup underscore tickets. If I can spell that correctly. And then we're just going to create a ticket. So you'll see that it creates the ticket right here. And now what we're going to do is we can send hi. Okay, and then let's say we want to close the ticket, we can just go back up here and click close ticket, and it closes it. And then in my DMs, it'll pop up, close successfully. I spelled it wrong, but you know what I mean. And that's it. So, till next time, that's it for today's video. Till next time, go stick out. See ya.